There is a vain attempt within the church these days to make Christianity cool. The thought is, if we can make it a bit more palatable to the masses, then maybe we can increase the number of those that are willing to brand themselves as Christian. Let's be honest, the ideas of Christianity don't translate well to a self-absorbed, pleasure-hungry world. Christianity is old in its thinking. We want fresh new ideas for how life, government, and society should act. Christianity denotes moral restraint, and by golly, no one is going to restrain our pursuit of pleasure these days. So what if we could clean Christianity up a bit? You know, give it an extreme makeover, fix those buck teeth, and try and remove that uncomfortable odor of absolute truth. Well, my opinion might very well be in the minority these days of emergent Christianity, but I don't think Christianity can be altered, re-imaged, or repackaged from what it has always historically been without losing the essence of what makes Christianity, well, Christianity. Christianity by nature is unpleasant to this world, and Christians down through the ages have always known that. And I believe the word unpleasant isn't even strong enough to describe how distasteful Christianity has always been to the onlooking world. They've despised it, mocked it, hated it, hunted it, and attempted to purge it from this earth. This is what Jesus and his apostles promised us throughout the New Testament. We are not to be shocked by it or attempt to fix it as if it were a problem, but get this, rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Listen to this scripture in Matthew chapter 5. And by the way, this is Jesus talking. Blessed are you, and men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Jesus Christ was hated, hunted, and despised, and as we all know, eventually publicly executed. He was love incarnate, but what we fail to often realize is that Jesus was also truth incarnate. He was light, and this world prefers to live in darkness. So, if Jesus didn't go over well with this world, heads up, Jesus in you is not going to go over very well either. This world may appreciate your compassion, your mercy, and your general kindness, but they won't be able to stomach your truth. They don't want the unbending rigidness of the most holy faith that marks them as a rebel and commands them to repent and be saved. No, this message is not a popular one, but it's truth. It's light. It hasn't been popular down through the ages, and it's not going to be popular today. Christ's apostles were martyred for representing Jesus, beheaded, flayed alive, thrown into pots of boiling oil. Long and short, they weren't cool and hip in their generation. I realize that it is tempting to try and make Christianity cool and more inviting. But Christianity is what God defines it to be and not what we prefer it to be. It's a turning from this world's good opinion unto the good opinion of God. It's joining the ranks of the hunted and despised. But for those privileged to join such ranks, it's life abundant and full of glory. For Moody Radio, I'm Eric Ludi. Please visit me at ericludi.com.